Hello and welcome to Outside In. My name is Steven. I recently got a comment from a viewer and let's look at that comment from Robert Schrouder. Um, he had asked me if I could create another video about the Melectric spot welder doing a copper sandwich weld and he asked to please make a video or send a picture of the weld if you can because in that video I use 0.25 pure copper 0.25 millimeter and it just did not work out so he asked me if I could do another one using 0.1 pure copper and 0.1 nickel plated steel so that's what this video is about so hopefully Robert I will be able to answer that question for you with this video and I thought instead of a picture a video would be better so here you go and let's get to that without further ado let's go to the bench now I've got everything set up here I'm gonna try this started at 30 this time because this is just to show you 0 0.097 so 0 0.1 pure copper and 0.097 or 0.1 nickel plated steel all right so he said to put the, the nickel plated steel on top of the copper and i'm setting the electrics at 30 milliseconds so let's uh zoom in a little bit here Now I truly am hoping this works because I want to redeem the electrics to be able to do a sandwich weld. And this is 0.1 pure copper, 0.1 millimeter, and 0.1 millimeter nickel plated steel. And oh my. Yeah. <laughs> that that definitely so let's zoom in a little bit better and see the, how that looks. Yes, that made holes, that left holes in both the nickel plated steel and the pure copper. So that indeed did work very well. All right, let's set it at 40 milliseconds. And yes, as you can see, that did a very nice weld. Now I want to cut this off and I want to try 0.15 pure nickel, just in case anybody may be wondering if it would do it. Alright, let's uh, go up to 50 milliseconds. Okay, that is 70 milliseconds and that looks like a very nice weld and that's 0.2 millimeter pure nickel 0.1 pure copper so that did very well yeah that left ouch wow that hurt that sharp so that left copper on the battery when I pulled that off so it does do 0.1 millimeter copper and 0.15 pure nickel So let's do the 0.1 millimeter pure copper and 0.1 millimeter nickel plated steel again. And this is the electric set at 40 milliseconds.
and that left copper on the battery again when I pulled it off. So to answer your question, definitely you can do a sandwich weld with the Molectrix. That last video that I did, I was asking way too much of the Molectrix to do 0.25 on the copper. That was just way too much. Now I'm going to do this, um, set it up to 50 milliseconds. And that is a very nice weld. Very strong weld. So 50 milliseconds, 0.1 millimeter copper, 0.1 millimeter nickel plated steel. And it also did the 0.15 pure nickel with the copper. Now this here, I think this is 2.2 two millimeter nickel plated steel with the 0.1 copper and we'll see if it'll do that and we'll turn it up to 90 milliseconds and okay that looks pretty good but let's see if we can pull it off here. Oh, oh man. Yeah, that's on there. So, okay. Okay, so there you go. Robert Schroeder. The Molectrix definitely did 0.1 millimeter pure copper and 0.1 millimeter nickel plated steel. It also did the 0.1 millimeter pure copper with 0.15 millimeter pure nickel and it also did the sandwich weld using 0.1 millimeter pure copper and 0.22 millimeter nickel plated steel without having to set it to 100%. I would think that if I had 0.15 pure copper and 0.1 or even 0.15 nickel plated steel I'm sure the Molectrix would do that as well. But unfortunately, I do not have 0.15 pure copper to test that with. I hope this helps you, Robert, and I, anybody else that may have the question. Now, if anyone owns a K-Weld, it's hard to do 0.25. So I think 0.1 and 0.2 for a total of 0.3 millimeter is pretty awesome for the Molectrix to be able to pull off. I, it would be interesting to know if there is a K weld out there that will actually weld 0.25 pure copper because I don't believe anybody's ever mentioned that. So anyway, to answer your question, yes. 0.1 millimeter nickel plated steel, 0.1 millimeter pure copper. Easy for the Molectrix to perform the sandwich weld. Also, the sandwich weld can also be performed with the 0.1 millimeter pure copper and 0.2 millimeter nickel plated steel so i hope this has helped i hope this answers your question robert i'm so happy that i was able to be able to do this for you anyone who has any suggestions or questions anything that you would like to see me do please ask in the comments and i will do my best to create a video for you so thank you for stopping by hope you got something out of this and i would like to end this with take care of yourself take care of each other find somebody that needs a reason to go on and give them that reason find someone that needs to laugh and make them laugh. God bless us everyone, and I will see you in the next one.